How's it, everyone? Welcome to another string review right here on Open Chord. So I thought it was finally about time for me to review my current favorite polyester string on the market. And if you guys watch my channel, you guys know what it is. It's time to talk about the Head Lynx Tour. So before I get into this, if you guys like this content, be sure to overhead smash that like and subscribe button. Now let's check out the Head Lynx Tour. So the Head Lynx Tour was released a few years ago when it was first released. It was released as the Experimental Tour and that was when I first tried out this string and I was very, very surprised at its response. The Head Lynx, the original, is a very, very mushy, very soft string. So if you guys have arm problems, the Head Lynx is a very soft option for you guys. I tried it and it was way too springy and it lost tension very quickly. So when I tried this new Lynx Tour, I was very surprised how much firmer this one was. So the Lynx Tour is made with a brand new copolymer mix. The formula is a secret, I don't know what it is, but that's what gives it its new firmness and its response. I decided to finally review this in full because this is my favorite string right now, favorite poly but also because they just recently came out with a new black color version of this and I was really excited for that because black is my favorite color of polyester string. That brings the total number of colors to the Lynx Tour up to four with the black, the gray, the champagne, and the orange. It also comes in a 130, 125, and supposedly it also comes in a 120 millimeter gauge which I have not been able to find anywhere but if I can get my hands on that, I really want to use it because the 120 is my preferred gauge. The Lynx Tour also comes with a six-sided profile, so it does provide some decent spin. However, the edges are not sharp, kind of like a tour bite. It's actually a little bit more rounded off, and when you string it, you can actually feel that it's very, very smooth. The edges are smooth, so it actually glides across very easily when you string the crosses. So that actually provides a little bit more snapback and lasting spin potential than a sharper string that will saw into it itself and eventually lose that string movement. So I got the new Head Lynx Tour black color here as you guys can see and I got it at 53 in the mains and 51 in the cross of my new Head Boom Pro. This is my current favorite polyester string and I'm really excited to talk about it with you guys so let's get into the pros of the Head Lynx Tour. So let's start with the pros of the Head Lynx Tour string. There's a lot. Um, for me personally, the best thing about the Lynx Tour and the thing that I look for the most in terms of polyester strings is that response. The Lynx Tour plays very similarly to Alipower and Tour Bite, two of my other favorite polyester strings, in that it plays very crisp, very lively, it has a very responsive feel, and I feel totally in command and connected on all shots. From aggressive ground strokes to touch volleys and drop shots, angle volleys, even the serves, I feel totally connected to the ball with every strike with the Head Lynx Tour. Because so much of tennis is mental, the fact that I feel so connected and so confident with every shot makes it feel like I can win every single point, I can win every single match, I can beat any opponent on the court. And I think that's what a lot of players, especially advanced players, want with their strings. And that's why I think that tension loss affects a lot of people because they then lose that connection to the ball, they don't feel like they can hit the shots the way they're supposed to, and their confidence level dips, and they start to play a little bit erratic. The Head Lynx Tour does have good tension maintenance because it has a stiff construction, but it's really that crisp, lively response and that connection I feel to the ball that really elevates my game to the next level. Another thing is that it has a really satisfying pop sensation every time I strike the ball in the sweet spot, especially on the return of serve or when I'm returning a hard hit shot. When I shorten up my swing and strike it in front of my body cleanly in the sweet spot, it feels like my shots are a lot heavier than they might be. It might be a psychological thing, but I think the Lynx Tour has a decent amount of power for such a firm poly and that probably comes from that popping sensation when I strike the ball in the sweet spot. Honestly, I can't pinpoint a favorite shot because my favorite shot was everything. I'm not joking. The firm stiffness might bother some people, but it didn't bother me. But despite that firmness, it has great dwell time. There aren't many polys that give me the touch and response to hit drop shots 
that will die in the service box or angles that go almost parallel to the net. I feel totally in command with my volleys with the Lynx Tour. Even on the return of serves, even on long grinding baseline rallies, I just feel in total command. Every time I strike the ball in the sweet spot with the Lynx Tour, I feel that dwell time. I feel the ball sinking into the string bed and I know exactly where the ball is gonna go. So obviously the best thing for me personally is that the Lynx Tour gives me that confidence on full strokes from all areas of the court and most importantly it maintains that level of playability. Because the string is on the smoother side for a shaped poly, the edges aren't so sharp. It doesn't saw into each other when you string a full bed and it actually retains its playability. It doesn't strip away the coating, it doesn't get stuck out of place as some other sharper edged strings do. Some strings like the Alu Power series, although they play great fresh off the stringer, there is a very noticeable difference in performance from the first and second play session. That tension does drop off quite a bit. The Solinko Tour Bite definitely retains tension better, but that one doesn't have quite that dwell time that the Lynx Tour does. And it certainly doesn't seem like it has the same level of power as the Lynx Tour. Also, I feel like I can take my service game to another level with the Lynx Tour. All three main serves that I hit, the flat, the kick, and the slice, I can mix and match, I can aim pinpoint into the corners, I can use the flat serve with a lot more consistency because I believe that the Lynx Tour does have a decent amount of power for a stiff poly. And then on the return of serves, if I just catch it cleanly in the center, sometimes the ball goes straight at my opponent's feet as they're recovering from their serve and that's a really satisfying feeling and I can take command of the point. All in all, the Lynx Tour has great playability that's lasting, it has that crisp response which I covet, it has decent spin potential and it maintains its playability very well which is why the Lynx Tour is my current favorite poly on the market. But that doesn't mean that some things can't be improved, so let's touch on those. So getting into the cons of the Head Lynx Tour, the spin potential is decent, but because it doesn't have sharp, rigid edges like the Tour Bite, it doesn't quite bite the ball like the Tour Bite or the Vocal VTOR Tour that I tried earlier, which is very sharp and also is twisted. But the good thing is the Lynx Tour retains its spin potential better than those strings. But fresh off the stringer, the V-Torque Tour, the Tour Bite, Hyper G, even the Y-Tex, Quadro Twist, all of these have better spin potential freshly strung. So in order to hit a lot more kick on my kick serve, for example, I just need to put a little bit more effort into it on the pronation. Also, this is my first time trying out the Tour Black color and the black definitely plays noticeably deader than the champagne or the gray. I've never tried the orange, but in my opinion, the champagne plays the liveliest. The gray is also pretty lively, maybe not quite as lively as the champagne. The black definitely plays deader than both of these. So for me personally, I like the gray the best because I like that color and I think that it goes well in a lot of frames and that crisp, lively feel is better in the gray than the black. So I just wanted to try the black because black is my favorite color in polys. I think black goes with a lot of rackets, but in terms of the Lynx Tour, the silver is the one I'm going to stick with. Lastly, I can only find two gauges of this string, 130 and 125. I cannot find the 120 anywhere. If I can find that, I definitely want to try that because I think that'll increase the spin potential and possibly the power even more. And since I don't break strings, thin gauge strings doesn't really matter for me in terms of durability. So I definitely want to try to get my hands on the 120 if I can find it. So lastly, who is the Head Lynx Tour for? It's for players who want a crisp response and a firm feel, but also want good spin and pop. Usually firm or stiff polys don't play powerfully because the ball loses its kinetic energy when it strikes a stiff string bed, but I definitely think that pop and the dwell time on the Lynx Tour is above average for a firm poly. And so if you want that crisp and firm feel, but you also want a decent amount of power, the Lynx Tour will be your friend. Also, if you're a net player or if you rely a lot on touch, this string does have a decent amount of it because of that response. It sends good feedback into your arm, so I was able to hit a lot of easy drop shots and angle volleys, placement volleys, which is what I like to do. So I think doubles players or serving volley players will like that head links tour, especially since it has a decent amount of pop on the serve that you can get up to the net to put the next volley away. So the Lynx Tour is my current favorite head string. It's my current favorite poly string. I definitely want to try that thinner gauge to see if I can unlock even more spin potential from this. But the Lynx Tour, I'm glad I tried it and I recommend a lot of people give this a try. It's not too expensive. It's about 12, 13 bucks. So it actually is on the cost effective side as well. So head, 
Great job with the Lynx tour and keep it coming. Keep up the good work with these new Lynx polys. Thank you for watching this string review of the Head Links Tour right here on Open Court. If you guys like this content, be sure to overhead smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you on an Open Court.